All right, perfect. So in the last video, we were finally able to update stuff from the database, right? So we we did some creation and we did some updating. Now it's time for us to delete stuff from our database. There are certain things that we don't want. So let's go ahead and create something actually first. And we're going to log in underscore create. And I'm just going to say something like maybe... Uh, quest men and if you ask me where I get his name don't I just I don't know All right instead of when we click submit here instead of that create login create we can have something like um, record creator or something like that if we wanted to alright so we can come here and as a matter of fact that's what this is doing is something right here we are connected right so we could actually right here use the include to include the database in here instead. All right. And let's just bring the DB here. DB.php. All right. So let's just bring it here and let's just take this connect connection out of here. So to do, 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 connection right here. There we go. Just take it out of there. We don't need it there. We can just include it. All right. So we, we could refactor all this and make sure that we, as a matter of fact, eh, let me show you how to delete stuff first. And then at the end, let's just do some more refactoring. All right. So anyways, so what we want to do, let's go to login underscore update. And we're going to be creating a function to delete this with a query from the database. <laughs> all right. So let's do some save as and delete underscore delete save now this is gonna be very similar all right very similar now another thing that very similar to the update function that we have in here functions this update right here so that's exactly what we're going to do but before we do that before I forget let's just change the form here because if we don't change it we're gonna have all kinds of problems let's change the actions action page is gonna be delete now all right so that when that submits it doesn't update this stuff again all right we don't want to update things and let's go to functions now actually right here I don't have to go here this is my working files but I'm still learning with this new co-editor how to do things so I'm going to copy this update table I'm gonna bring it down I'm gonna call this delete delete rows all right and what I want to change here well we want to change the query because right now we're not going to be updating stuff we are going to be deleting so I'm gonna delete this is gonna be really simple by the way delete from users that's it that's what we need here we don't even need this it's gonna delete it we don't even need the whole form in the other side but we're just gonna keep it all right and that's about it that's what we need here let's go to the delete form and check it out oh and we need to go to functions and make sure that we are calling that function from the other side delete and if we click on delete we're just gonna take that out we're not going to be updating we're gonna be deleting all right so I think we're done with this let's just check it out we have a couple IDs here that we want to get rid of so we refresh here we got some stuff here going on some quest men quest men oh yeah a lot of ideas that we are creating here let's just delete it 11 actually hold on hold on hold on hold on So we have a problem in the functions. Let's create this. So delete from users where ID equals ID. And we're bringing everything down. Okay, this, this looks good here, but let me just save it here. Make sure that we are calling the right. Let's go to delete. 
if post submit then I want to have this All right, let's double check again I just didn't save some of it delete save and save alright telling me I have a mistake on the query but I don't know about that let's check it again delete 10 update well it's not update it's gonna have to change that button too you have an error in your SQL check the manual near ID 10 at line 1 that was usually a coma there that we were that's what we had a problem so let's go down to functions let's go to the delete and let's see what the problem is delete from users we need to put that space here remember that right so this can actually trip you off man it can just really be a problem so let's go to the form now now we can delete all right and we can see that that 10 is not there let's just take the form and make sure that the value is delete right here perfect all right so let's delete another one 11 delete 9 delete come here check it now we only have two of them so now let me recap on what we did all right so that way you can have a better idea all right so let's go to functions actually and all I did was copy this you see we're using the same query we're using a query variable and we are also using that variable there to pass it to the database with this function right here just I hope you got the general idea on this right this is all one query this is all one string together put together and we're using my SQLI underscore query to pass it in with a connection and with a string which is in this case equal to this variable right here and these are just concatenations for this query basically they are it's one query all put together all right so when we pass it in we pass it in and this connection here this query here is equal we make it equal to the variable result okay and then here we're just saying if we have a problem this is false if the result is not good or their query right then we have a problem like we saw there it's very useful so that's what we're saying here well, we're sending the query straight to the database and right here this is all database SQL language okay this is the same thing you will write in the SQL you will write update user set you will go to the command line write this and you will write some data into SQL we're just using PHP to do it with this function right here all right so I just basically copied this whole thing and came here and wrote another query and I sent another query to the database and this query was delete from users remember this is SQL don't get it confused it's not PHP right so hopefully you understand this concept and as you can see here we we close this into in functions and we were able to call it here on this file right here we have includes here this function will include a file from another place into this file here so it would be the same thing as having the DB it would be the same thing as having this DB on the other file all right this this whole thing is getting included on top here like it was here basically all right hopefully you can understand that all right so if you want to keep watching some more refactoring I will be doing it after this course uh, this tutorial this video but if you don't want to watch some more refactoring you're done you can just jump into the other section all right so anyway thank you so much for watching this video here and hopefully I see you in the next one thank you